Mr. Speaker, members of the House, it's my privilege to uh, present our pastor for the day, uh, Chaplain David Thornton. I've known David most of my adult life, as has Representative uh, Katie Dempsey. Uh, David is part of a very large family that's been in our community for many generations. They have a history of service and community involvement that spans more than a century. Uh, the reason I didn't know David in high school, besides him being a few years younger than me, was that uh, his father answered the call to military service during the early days of World War II and made a career of the Army. David's father was a highly decorated Army officer who stormed the Utah Beach on D-Day and went on to serve in Korea and Vietnam. David is a military kid who went to 17 different schools before his family returned home to settle down. May explain some things. Uh, he graduated from West Rome High School in 1976 and uh, shortly after graduation followed in his father's uh, footsteps and uh, joined the Army serving in the uh, 82nd Airborne from 1977 till 81. David, I've always wondered about people who willingly jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Um, after service, David felt a call to Christian ministry and attended Covington Seminary where he received his pastoral training. Uh, he went on to serve a number of smaller churches in the Floyd County area as, as a bivocational pastor until he found his true calling, which is that of chaplain to our law enforcement community. He has served as chaplain for the Floyd County Sheriff's Office for the past 34 years. He also serves our E911 personnel, our Metro uh, Drug Task Force, and our SWAT teams. He's a member of our critical incident stress management team and teaches emotional survival for our law enforcement community. He is also a senior chapter, uh, chaplain emeritus with the Georgia Sheriff's Association and was appointed by Governor Sonny Perdue as chaplain for the Homeland Security. And he also is a pastor to Essential Church, which is a church that ministers primarily to our law enforcement community. David is always there to give counsel and comfort when an officer is involved in an accident, a shooting, a high-speed pursuit, or a stressful incident that is a part of the realities of law enforcement. On a personal note, uh, David and particularly his daughter Amy were there for us when my wife and I lost our teenage daughter in an auto accident in her sophomore year of high school. You see, Amy and Rebecca were best friends from kindergarten onward. So right before the funeral, Amy asked me if she could sing a song and in the midst of our grief, we knew she was hurting too. She sang a beautiful tribute to our daughter, Friends Are Friends Forever. I, do not know at I did not know at that time how well she could sing, but uh, Amy and her husband Josh now have a dynamic music ministry and they are currently serving at First Baptist Brunswick. And I think you're watching online. Uh, did I mention that service seems to run in this family? Um, I had the unfortunate privilege, however, to uh, return the love and comfort uh, when David's older daughter, Ashley, was uh, severely injured in an auto accident with a drunk driver and passed away some years later from complications caused by the accident. You see, David knows how to minister, and he knows what it's like to be ministered to. David is married to Teresa Thornton. They have five children and 13 grandchildren. Uh, Teresa and our Floyd County Sheriff, David Robertson, are here at the Capitol today accompanying David and watching online from my office. It is now my privilege to introduce our pastor for today, my friend, Chaplain David Thornton. Thank you. It's a great honor to be here today in the House of Representatives. Thank you to the Speaker of the House, David Ralston from Blue Ridge. Uh, I have the honor of having a river house up in McKaysville, so I'm one of his uh, good taxpayers along with that. Thank you, the Honorable Eddie Lumpston is a dear friend. One thing that Eddie mentioned that our families crossed paths with his daughter when she passed and Amy, my daughter, when uh, uh, we had our first, uh, when I had our first grandchild, uh, she was named Rebecca after Eddie's daughter, and she now attends Berry College as an electronic aeronautical engineer and going to Auburn afterwards. But thank you, Eddie. And to Miss Katie Dempsey, District 13, a true heart of a servant to our community, and I'm thankful for both of you. I'm thankful for the House of Representatives of the great state of Georgia. God be with you, lead you always, we are truly blessed by your leadership. Matthew 5, 9 said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they should be called the children of God. The definition of blessed is invoke divine favor upon, asking God to look favorably on, or express or feel gratitude or thankful. A peacemaker is a person who brings about peace, especially by reconciling uh, adversaries. The question is, what is your calling? 
And as Eddie told you, my calling is to be a chaplain that ministers to law enforcement, public safety, and to public servants. I also teach a class on emotional survival that I've shared in, in a lot of your counties in 21 different counties where we go in with our SISM teams and debrief and help out when officers are killed in the line of duty. There was 542 officer deaths nationwide last year, including 375 to COVID and, and nationally, and there was 110 deaths by gunfire or violent crime. Georgia had 49 officers that were killed in the line of duty. And then the tragic part is to add to all that total, we lost 171 deputies and officers to suicide. So you see that uh, as the job I have as a chaplain that I take seriously. I travel many areas of this uh, the state and community to do that because I believe in what the calling is when it said, blessed are the peacemakers for they should be called the children of God. George Washington had a mo motto that he said, deeds, not words. And I try to do that in my ministry and what we do in the community and I'm sure you do here in the House of Representatives. Three things that, another thing that he mentioned, three things that prompt men to regularly discharge their duty in time of action. Natural bravery, hope of reward, and third is fear of punishment. The blessed, the peacemakers, they're called the children of God. In Titus chapter 3, verse 1, my brother was one of the sheriffs that I served under for five sheriffs, and he had this hanging in his office, and they said, this is what you need to know to be a sheriff or be in public service. And it says in Titus chapter 3, reminds them to be subject to rulers, to authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good deed. We are blessed as peacemakers and called the children of God when we honor, pray, and lift up lawmakers to God each and every day. That is my duty as a Christian. That's my duty as a chaplain. That's my duty in law enforcement and one another to pray for you, for you to pray for me, and we pray for our country. Romans 13, 1, another scripture that says, let every person be subject to governed authorities, for there's no authority except from God. And those that exist have been in instituted by God. My closing thoughts are this. I need to pray for myself. I need to pray for my family. I need to pray for my community. I need to pray for the deputies and officers I serve. I need to pray for the House of Representatives of the great state of Georgia. I need to pray for our nation. I need to pray for unity of fellowship through Christ my Savior. Isaiah 41, uh, 10 says this. It said, fear not. He said, I am with you. Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of righteousness. So thank you to the Speaker of the House, David Ralston, my representative and friend, Eddie Lumpston, and the representative and friend, Katie Dempsey, to the House of Representatives. I pray God's strength, God's speed, and guidance to us all. And I, if you would, I'd have you join us in our prayer. As we pray, it says, God, we come before your throne of grace and mercy. We thank you for your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We acknowledge you in every aspect of our life and our government throughout the history of our great state and nation. I pray with a heart of love and mercy for each representative in this legislative house. I pray for the Democrats, the Republicans, the men and women alike. Lord, we pray for the work and the people of the great state of Georgia. In praying, we ask for a hedge of protection for all our public servants, military, and all our frontline personnel. God, your grace is sufficient for every need. Praying for our governor, the Senate, the House of Representatives, and all the agencies that represent this great state, we thank you, Jesus, our Savior and Lord, and in his grace we say amen.